The OSBF network command requires practice. In this video, I'll introduce a simple lab that gets you started mastering that command. As always, my videos here mirror up to the outline of the books. So we're talking Volume 1, Part 6, Chapter 22, one of the OSPF chapters in this case. So when you use a config lab, you can do it any old time. You can repeat them as needed. I encourage you to explore beyond what the lab says to do. This lab is called OSPF Network Config 1, emphasis on network. That's a reference to the network command in router config mode. And there's a direct link to the lab. You need the lab page. It's a page in my blog. In order to do the lab, you download the packet tracer file from there. So here's the deal. You can go to the blog page and ignore the rest of this video. You can read about the scenario and tasks to do at the top, download the packet tracer file, do the lab, check the answer and explanation on the blog page. That's been true for close to a decade now. But for this lab and some others, I've added an intro video that gives you the same kind of information you see in the top half of the blog page, give you a little richer view of what the lab asks you to do, and then also a separate review video, which takes a little different slant on explaining why you do the things you do and maybe gives you a little more background on why you configure things the way you do to solve the lab. All right, let's talk about this lab. First off, the network topology is two routers only with a WAN link between them. The interfaces are up. All the interfaces in this diagram are up at the beginning state of the lab. You see the IP addresses and mask used in this design spread across the lab and the interface IDs. The matching configuration is IP addresses only with the interfaces no shutdown. All right, so we see the IP addresses configured around these two routers matching what you see up there in the diagram. That's pretty much it. So when you open up the packet tracer file and start, you could do a few ping tests that the blog page doesn't suggest, but R1, for instance, should be able to ping its own IP addresses because they're configured and the interfaces is up or are up. R2, likewise, should be able to ping its own IP addresses. The interfaces are up. And they should be able to ping each other's WAN IP addresses because they each have a connected route to that center subnet. What won't work is R1 pinging the far away interface's IP address on R2 and R2 pinging the far away interface address on R1 because there's no OSPF config. There's no way for them to learn routes to those destination subnets on the other side of the routers. Once you configure the lab, those routes will be learned and those pings will work. Knowing that, what should you do in lab? You open the packet tracer file and here's your job. Configure OSPF on both routers. Just for consistency to match my supplied answers, use process ID 20. Configure the router IDs directly in router config mode. Use only area zero, that is it's a single area design with all subnets in area zero. The lab also asks you to configure two different ways with the network command, honestly, just to give you more practice with the network command. So in the first scenario, each network command on both of the routers I want you to match the, quote, entire class full network. So if you look up at the top where the drawing is, look at those IP addresses and say what class A, B, and C networks are in use and devise some network commands that would match all the addresses in whatever class A, B, and C networks exist there. I won't tell you more. I'll leave that for you to figure out. And then each network command for scenario two, each network command on both routers should match the addresses in the subnets on an interface. So make sure you have a network command that matches those addresses and those addresses and those addresses for each router. Now in the explainer video, I didn't tell you exactly how to do that. I'll let you noodle on that when you do lab, but note the review video does teach you how to do that, the process. So if you get uh, frustrated with that, check out the review video. All right, so what to do here, final state, router IDs 1111 and 2222 all subnets in area zero. There's your design. You can go for us to do the lab. There again is the direct link to the lab. Have fun in lab. Seriously, go do the lab. But if you want more videos, watch for the ones that show up here on the screen. You'll get a couple of suggested related videos here in just a moment. Also, subscribe and click the bell if you're new. Lots more videos about content and review for CCNA. Thanks for hanging out.